Welcome to today's Liverpool FC News and Transfer Latest Live Blog. We will keep you up to date with the latest gossip, rumors and of course any news which is quite frankly laughable. It is the silly season after all, 1700 night. That's me done for today, I'm off home to tan my moves. Back tomorrow, Raw 1645 Daily News Today's Daily News show is brought to you by the beautiful Tom Dutton. Tom brings you the latest news and transfer gossip from today. Basically he reads out by work. And he's bloody good at it too. 16-15 Ryan Sessegnon Liverpool are set to miss out on Fulham midfielder Ryan Sessegnon after it was revealed he is set to sign a new contract over the next few weeks. Sessegnon is regarded very highly and his blistering pace would be an asset to any team but even more so to Liverpool as the club look to continue their search for main and Salah backups. The Times also report Tom Kearney has agreed to sign a new contract with the Cottagers. 1522 Saudi Oman A not so much news but a gentle reminder that today marks two years since Liverpool signed Saudi Oman A from Southampton. A fee which was initially laughed at by some Liverpool fans while others were left fuming. As you can imagine, some of the replies in the thread are brilliant. Another flop, and the Senegalese Victor Moses, my personal favorites. 73 apps, 33 goals, 17 assists. Saudi Oman's number is, of course, TWE and TYNINE1 combining on closing key cap 9 combining and closing key cap. Pick.twitter.com slash G2 Vasuap 8 Z, Liverpool FC, at LFC, June 28, 2016, 14 46. Timo Werner, just in case you didn't know, Germany are out of the World Cup. One of the players going home early is Timo Werner. The RB Leipzig forward has been linked with Liverpool relentlessly over the past 12 months but he has failed to impress at all during Germany's recent campaign. In his defense, the only decent part of Germany this summer was Joachim Lowe playing scratch and sniff with his ball bag. He had a lot to compete with. HITC are suggesting that Timo Werner has not only failed to impress Germany fans but he may have failed in his quest to impress the likes of Liverpool and Spurs. Werner didn't score a goal, which is dead annoying, I tipped him to be top goal scorer. Don't gamble kids. He didn't even get an assist. What a waste, he may as well be English. I reckon he just missed Naby Keita supplying him TBH. 1432 wings off to Turkey. We brought you news earlier that Burnley aren't looking to sign their former player Danny Ings as they set out to conquer Europe, well, the Europa League, well, Scotland actually. Their first game is against Aberdeen, buzzing. However, one side that could be interested is Turkish side Fenerbahce, Sport Witness who are citing Turkish newspaper AMK Spor, suggest that sporting director Damian Kamoli is in talks with both Liverpool and Ings. Seems plausible I suppose Ings wants to leave, it's from a Turkish paper, Kamoli used to work for Liverpool. Enjoy your new tan Danny. 12-15 Ings won't be returning to Burnley reports earlier in the week suggested that Burnley were interested in re-signing former striker Danny Ings. Ings is expected to leave Merseyside this summer after struggling this season. The striker joined from Burnley in 2015 but has had injuries problems leaving him out of the team and although Klopp would like to keep him, Ings had decided to go in search of regularly first-team football. Who can blame him? However TeamTalk.com are reporting that a return to Burnley is not on the cards. 11.55 Sturridge price slashed. So yeah Sturridge, remember him? So do we, the poor fella. Turkish football are reporting that his current valuation has been slashed as Liverpool are yet to receive any offers for the forward. Sturridge has been linked with the move to Turkey recently with Besiktas and Fernabash reportedly interested. 11.42 So lengthy agreed. I read that out in the office and the lads immediately thought we had sold him. Don't worry, we've just agreed a few with Chelsea rather than taking the argument to a tribunal. 
The Liverpool Echo report that Liverpool valued Solanke at around £3 million, whereas Chelsea valued him at around £10 million. Navigate your way around the adverts and videos and you'll get the full story, 1043 Shakiri, Shakiri. If you didn't read that, in the style of Christina Aguilera then there's something wrong with you. For some strange reason S Board of you have decided to cite Duncan Castles, everyone's favorite felon. Speaking on the Transfer Window podcast, Castles broke some very interesting news regarding Shakiri. he is a player they have tried to sign in the past. Liverpool tend to identify players on statistical performance in the field. Once they've identified them they pursue them for some time and eventually get them. Salah and Main is proof of that. Yeah thanks for that bit of insight, something we've all known for ages. On a serious note, it would be nice to get your thoughts on Shakiri and if you think he would be a good fit for this Liverpool side. 1027 Kuhn Temanushkov let's just call him Kuhn for now. Kuhn is a highly rated forward currently at Leeds United, formerly of Barcelona. According to a Bulgarian journalist Kuhn is one of the hottest prospects Bulgaria have had for some time. Isis Football also report that Kuhn's style of play has been compared to that of a certain Luis Suarez, who incidentally is also his idol. At 18 years of age he's basically he's a young Suarez that doesn't bite people. I'm fine with that. 1018 The Chosen One. Terrible pun. It will all make sense in a moment. Liverpool fans have dreamt of a new goalkeeper since Karius decided he was best mates with Benzema and pretty much anyone that can save a ball has been linked with the Reds. Anyway the latest name is Cho Yan Woo, South Korea's number one. Now the pun makes sense, right? According to Live for Liverpool there are a number of fans that want him through the door after impressing in the World Cup. I say, a few fans, some people on Twitter said it. Don't really see it myself. 1006 Marco Grujic Liverpool midfielder Marco Grujic could be about to make a move to Cardiff City permanently. Grujic spent last season on loan at Cardiff and it seems the club are keen to re-sign the Serbian for the 2018-19 season according to the BBC.